Haleluya. Bona si fiwe. Haleluya. Ndenda ruto shokie na jekidogo. Ndrona netoku 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 igirete mudi ya Samuel mutugateli. Ona tuma kuhikuwa mukira. Bona pewe sifa. No riu dreda taira mwenzako ta space has space kidogo has space kidogo ni pe space kidogo ene yenda hote ku kuinira ngai umuthe kwenyu boto kuina na igesi gukorwa si si jero tutiri maybe tutisiyo itiga ne daine sike tokoguo koigwa the skill the technique is why you are born to you give god a clap offering and a dance offering bona pewe sifa and we keep the energy moving bona sifiwe Wero boto kwa beria ro itagwa praise. Na ro ibaru ruina kwa I want to teach you the chorus. It's very simple. It says As long as I'm breathing, I've got a reason to praise the Lord, oh my soul. Just that, eh? So we try just praise praise the lord oh my soul we try it one two three go praise the lord oh my soul hey, hey, let's go praise the lord oh my soul sasa tuweke finyo eh
song ine nena wa milele mungu wa milele wa milele mungu wa baraka nina twende wa milele mungu wa milele nina wa milele mungu wa baraka nina sasa nione ukidance kidogo tu hivi Come on. 
zote kama zimejiinua bendera ya pombe bendera ya umalaya bendera yoyote ambayo si ya Yesu ishushwe in the name of Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate Jesus celebrate
Tuonyeshe vile wajaluo anafanyanga. Hey.
tribe and like the way i like to describe it e tribe ukitaka kujua mtu amekufa angalia mutest na shilingi azipo amuka ujua huyu ameenda tunawajua ehe zani tamshie wangi chini si atutakangi pressure sio ehe gaiwa kwa gaiwa Cause I 
Let's go. Hey, give me a beat. Give me a beat. Musi yo gope. Wake on your tongue. Daniel chapter 2 says like this In the second year of Nebuchadnezzar In the second year of Nebuchadnezzar's reign Nebuchadnezzar had a dream And he was troubled about it in his spirit And so he called his enchanters His astrologers His wise men and his Chaldeans And he told them I want you to tell me what the dream that I dreamt was and I want you to tell me what the interpretation was. And the astrologers told the king, they were trying to show the king it is impossible. So they told him that, oh king, what you are asking for, no other king has ever asked for. And Nebuchadnezzar told them, if you don't give me the answer, I am going to cut you to pieces. And so they tried to plead with him. They told him, oh king, just tell us the dream and we will give you the revelation. But Nebuchadnezzar wanted to be sure they would know what the revelation was. So he told them, until you give me the dream is when you will give me the revelation. So that I can be sure that you know what the revelation is. And Nebuchadnezzar was mad because they told him that the answer you are seeking for can only be said by the gods. It can only be given by the gods. And they don't live among us the people. How wrong they were because we have Emmanuel who is God with us. 
And so he made a decree and he said, I want all these people murdered. I want them executed. And he sent a man called Ariok, who was the head of the guards of the king. And when Ariok went to look for Daniel, Shadrach, and Meshach, and Abednego, Daniel asked Ariok, why is the king so harsh? And Ariok told him everything. So Daniel told Ariok, take me to the king. And he went. When he went, he told the king, give me a few days. Extend the period for Mikidoko too. Because he understood that it takes time to hear the voice of God. And when he went, he collected Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and told them, we need to pray. My question to you is, do you have praying friends? Do you have people who you can call and tell them, we need to pray. And they prayed the God of heaven. And the Bible says when Daniel slept, it is not written whether it was recorded, whether he was given in a dream, in a vision, whatever. But he was given the dream of the king. And he went back to Ariok and he said, I have the dream and I have the revelation. Take me to the king. And Ariok went. You know, Ariok represents a person of the world. He goes to the king and he tries to take the glory. He says, I have found a man who will give you the dream and the revelation. And Daniel came. And when he came into the, into, the, into, the, into the sight of the king, when he came to the, to the altar of the king, he was asked by the king, Daniel, is it true that you can give me my dream and its revelation? And Daniel said, there is no man, no astrologer, no magician, no enchanter, no Chaldean who can give the dream of the king all its interpretation. But there is a God in heaven. When no man can, there is a God in heaven who is able to do what no man can do. What you're going through and it looks like the hand of man cannot work. There is a God in heaven who is able to turn tables and able to change your life. Una fanya mambo mayo Wana damu hawezi kufanya Una toa faraja mayo Wana damu hawezi kutoa Una bunja la na bazo Wana damu hawezi kufunja Una ponya magonja mayo Mwanadamu hawezi kuponya baba Haufana nishu na kitu Harida bosha ligada Haufana nishu Heda dos na kitu
Mungu mbinguni Asikiae maombi yetu Yuko Mungu mbinguni Hayajibuye maombi yetu There is a God in heaven Tunapoomba Asikia anajibu Oh Tunapoomba Asikia maombi yetu Nasema yupo Asikia Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Jordan.
day of impossibilities. Today is the day when doors that are impossible. The Bible says that God will never send his word in vain. I believe that that word that the spirit of God has spoken through, it is living and it is active. And so before I leave this altar, I'd like to request you, are you there and there's something that you know only God can do? The Bible says there was a time when an angel would stir the waters. And any time the waters were stirred, the first person to enter into that water would get healed. Today the waters are stirred. And not just the one person who is the first, but every person who puts their trust in the Lord will not be put to shame. Are you there and you have something that is so impossible that it can only take the hand of God to deal with it? Please raise your hand up by faith. Man of God, Reverend, please allow me to call you because you are my father and you have authority over me. The waters are stirred. And God is going to do what would have otherwise not been possible. Hallelujah. Uh, it's time to pray. You feel that the Lord has spoken. You feel for sure that there is this one thing that you want the Lord to do for you. He is the Lord who gave us the theme for this year. That see, I am doing something new. It shall spring up. Can't you perceive it? And you have this thing that you want to do. Take unto the Lord. Just lift up your hand. As we pray. But I am sure. That the Lord. Will come through for you. And you shall receive. And give a testimony. In days to come. That the Lord. Visited you in a mighty way. And fulfilled. And answered your prayers. Because he is. A prayer healing and a prayer answering God. Shall we pray? Mighty and everlasting God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are the only God there is, and there is none other than you. We humble ourselves before you this afternoon. To thank you because you are our God and our Father. We know that every time we believe in you, you have always come through for us and you have answered our prayers. This is the day. We've been here, Lord, worshiping you, praising you, dear King of glory, as we humble ourselves before your altar. And we have the experience. Love the Holy Spirit mingling with us. And we have no doubt that you are in our midst. Blessed be your holy name. Here are your people. People who are named after you, dear King of glory. And they have needs, dear Father. And we have learned with the praises and worshipping you, dear Lord. And we have come to trust in you. That if we come before you full of humility and that once we tell you of our needs you are so good and honest that you shall for sure answer our prayers and we shall stand before you as we give thanks to you before you are your people some are not feeling well some are sick but you are God the healer Jehovah Lava, oh how I pray this afternoon that you will allow to stretch your mighty healing hand upon them, dear King of Glory, upon their folks, dear Father, upon their relatives, dear Lord, 
and heal their diseases, their king of glory. And they shall stand and say, the Lord has done it for us. Hear, dear King of Glory, how you are people who are looking for jobs, dear Father. They have written application after application. They are seated waiting, oh dear Lord. This is the day, this is the time that you listen to us, dear Father. And you answer our prayers, dear Lord. And we get lepris, dear Lord. That it is well, O King of Glory. Thank you, dear Master, because come next week, we shall hear testimonies of your good things that you have done on us, for us, and in us, dear King of Glory. Thank you, dear Master. We are waiting. Our children have gone to school. Our children are learned. Our children are technically equipped. Yet they have no jobs. Here in the sanctuary, Lord, I beseech you, I pray unto you, O Lord, that you come and hearken to our prayers. And Father God in heaven, that you have our children employed. Those who are in smaller businesses, enterprises, Lord, we pray for them. That thy favor lest upon them, dear Lord, as from today, dear King of glory. This day that they have dedicated themselves and devoted themselves to come and worship you in truth and in spirit that for the God you will come through for them and that the, the businesses will flourish and for the God they will stand and give testimonies love their true God and how awesome he is and that he has answered their prayers. Father God I pray for all our families. I pray, Father God, where there is separation, that you will bring the families together. Where there is divorce, that, Father God, you will bring them together once again or give them peace, peace that surpasses all human understanding. Where there is only one parent, Lord, I pray for wisdom, knowledge that comes from above and that they shall never lack. You are our God. You are our Father. You love us so much. Our children have gone back to school, but some of our parents have no fees. Lord, I pray for your provision. And Father God, you will provide unto them, dear King of glory, and so that our people will never be ashamed. Thank you, dear King of glory, because you are doing it, and we can perceive it. We can heal it. We can touch it. Because you are in our midst. We want to thank you dear King of Glory. All these dear ones. Young and old. Middle aged or infants. We all need you. We all need you King of Glory. Whether poor or rich. Oh Lord healthy or unhealthy. We all need you dear King of Glory. Our prayer this afternoon. As you come through for us, dear Lord. And whatever prayer we have put are close, Lord, listen unto us. Answer our prayers. And we shall have time to thank you. Blessed be your holy name. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, O Lord, Maranatha. Blessed be your holy name. For we pray this a prayer of faith in Jesus' name. And we all say... And we all say, Amen. let's appreciate our God. Wait, wait. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I come to an end. Um, <laughs> please allow me to make this one last altar call. Because you are the reason we came. All heads bowed, all eyes closed. To Funge Macho. Hallelujah. And I want, to, I want to speak to that young person or that mom, that dad. And you're there and you say, my life is a mess. And one of the reasons why your life can be a mess is when you're dealing with so many secret struggles. As young people, there's so many secret struggles that we find we have fallen out of the faith. We, found, we find that we have 
sinned and we are no longer walking the walk of faith. But if you're there and you are sure that if today the church was ruptured and the trumpet was blown, you would not rupture together with the church. That is the most important thing. Paul writes and says, oh, that I may not miss heaven. That is why we do what we do. Nothing else is more important than your soul. And so if you're there and you've never given your life to Jesus, or you gave him your life, but somewhere you, you missed the mark, and you say, today I want to make that prayer of repentance and come back to the Lord. Just raise your hand up by faith. Hallelujah. I'm not missing anyone. You're there and you would like to give your life to the Lord Jesus. Either you've never given him your life or you did, but you lost the way somewhere. And you say, today I want to make that prayer of repentance to come back to God. Tazama Ishi Sasa Kum Tazama Yesu Ida Boshani Yara Amen saved want to say this is your day just encourage yourself come forward receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and your name shall be erased from the book of condemnation and be written in the book of life are you there we have nadole mohonoku kananewa honokete Ogeshoka na dhuda na neuraigwa gaya ge kuarelia. Just encourage yourself where inya. Come forward. Wa mukire Jesu. Are you there? Are you there? We are waiting. As he said, this is the main purpose for last coming this day and worshiping God the way we have done, so that at least a soul may be saved. Are you there? Even from the pavilion, we are waiting for you. Taroga ma inyo de. Ebo tu sima mezote. Njua watu wa mechoka kidogo na esasinzia. Lakini tu aomba ya kwamba ikawa sio vile. Uko mahali pale. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my sister. Thank you, someone else. Thank you. Let's appreciate our God for. Uh, our daughter here, we are waiting for you. We are waiting for you. You are not saved, or you were saved once, and somehow, somewhere, you found yourself fully tracking. But today, you have a chance. Upande hii tunaangalia. Tunamuitia uzima wa milele. Uko mahari pare, ujawa hiyo koka. Ama uliokoka zamani za kare bali ukarudi nyuma basi wakati ni huu. Just encourage yourself. Tunaweza kosa kukujua kwa sababu kwa uzo tuwafanana zote. But you know yourself. You know yourself. We are waiting. We are waiting. From this side. We are waiting. Tuagoja, jipe moyo, kanyanga hatua moja ya imani. Okay, Yesu Kristo kama mkombozi wa maisha yako. 
na utapata kubarikiwa kwa hema kwa hema kwa goja kutoka kwa hema sije ukasema praise in worship akina Edith walikibiza manyimbo mingi kwa wakati wa wokovu mchungaji akaharakisha ah ah we are working as a team we praise the lord are you there are you coming Hebu salimia neiba salimia neiba muulize jina na muulize kama ameokoka fanya evangelism kidogo fanya evangelism kidogo na ni kweli umuulize we muhono kutajerate we na Jesu waigwa kwera ne bado omwera ne nyu muretwo omwera ne we oretwo eh akoro ndure muhono ku omwera ne we oretwo eh ucio tare muhono ku omwera ne aretwo we hau na dure muhono ku na no ende kwa mukira Jesu come 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 we are waiting for you to kwenda kuhoya hamwe na ya moimera where are the gentlemen ada kususa kusema ya kwamba biguni hakuhitajiki wanaume where are the men i thought we lead others follow even when it comes to salvation thank you our sister thank you for coming thank you Are you there? To be one more stanza. Madam Edith to be one more stanza kama mtu atatokea tukiwekea tia. Ni to kwenda kukinyokia. One stanza. Ni ujumbe wa Bwana. Haleluya. Ni ujumbe wa Bwana. Are you there in such kind of attack of war? Don't you mire to hoe? Can I can I have the mats, Kaidre? Face the altar. Aya mage tulia maru akorore hau na tule muhono ku kama ni together with them. Nigetha to hoe. We want to dedicate our dear sisters here to the Lord. We have as they kneel down. With a lot of humility, we are not punishing you. Manegero mics. Elders, kaidwe kam. Hale ogyo kwa dago ka atulie maruna doakai. Aya makwa da koyade kithia muoyo ine. Are you there? Na ni kwenda goka gutulia maru hamwe na ndo aya ngai. Tutueke wa koirathi mero na kwa mukira Jesu tamwadhani na muhonokia wa goro yaku. Are you there? Bu aze kadha wa wekile mikono. sema nyuma yangu Bwana Yesu 
Nanja kwako leo uniokoe Mimi ni mtenda dhambi Lakini siku ya leo nimegairi yote Nimekata kamba zote za muofu shetani Na kupokea sasa Yesu Kristo Uniokoe Nimepoteza miaka mingi lakini siku ya leo lakini siku ya leo nashukua hatua nashukua hatua futa jina langu futa jina langu kutoka kwa kitambu cha mauti na uliandike na uliandike kwenye kitambu cha uzima kwenye kitabu cha uzima mimi ni wako sasa mimi ni wako sasa weka ndani yangu weka ndani yangu ushuhuda ushuhuda Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Kiu ya maombi. Kiu ya maombi. Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Kusoma neno lako. Kusoma neno lako. Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Ujasili. Ujasili. Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Utakatifu. Utakatifu. Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Kuungama dhambi. Mimi ni wako sasa. Mimi ni wako sasa. Weka ndani yangu. Weka ndani yangu. Ushirika wa ukweli. Ushirika wa ukweli. Na kuamini Yesu. Na kuamini Yesu. Na wewe shetani? Na wewe shetani. Na kukataa sasa. Na kukataa sasa. Na mambo yako yote. Na mambo yako yote. Mimi ni wa Yesu. Mimi ni wa Yesu. Tangia sasa. Tangia sasa. Na kuendelea. Na kuendelea. Nimeokoka. Nimeokoka. Amen. Amen. Baba katika jina la Yesu Kristo tuasema ni asanti. Wewe ndiye uliye Mungu wetu kimbilio letu tegemeo letu. Twanjua ya kwamba kule juu biguni kazi zote zimesimamishwa. Kwa sababu ya mioyo minne ambayo imekubali Yesu Kristo kama mkombozi wa maisha yao. Na wameunganishwa na wateule wale wengine walioenda mbele tulio sasa na wate wate wale wengine watakayefuata kama mtumishi wako na wakambidhi kwako Bwana pamoja na wazee hawa wetu wa kanisa wakiwashikilia ya kwamba ukavuta jin, majina yao kutoka kwa kitambu cha upotovu na ukayaandika majina yale kwenye kitambu cha uzima wa milele hawa ni watoto wako Bwana wasajiri mahali pale Shetani asije akafikia majina yao kamwe amara tena bali twaomba ya kwamba kuanzia sasa kuendelea hawa wapendwa wataitanishwa nawe watie muhuli wako watie nila wawe wako milele na siku ya kiyama tutakapokusanyika mbele yako ewe Mungu wetu simba wa yuda Majina ya wateule ya kiitanwa basi majina ya hawa wapendwa yataitanwa pamoja na wale gine Asanti Yesu kwa siku ya leo wokovu katika kanisa hili twasema ni asanti jina lako litukuke Twasema uabariki ewe Bwana Awe shetani kuna nafasi tena katika maisha ya wapendwa hawa Kwa kukataa sasa katika jina la Yesu Kristo na kusema Yesu tawara maishani mwao tawara biasharani mwao tawara katika minji zao tawara tembea pamoja na wao kwa Yesu Kristo tumeomba na kuamini zote tuseme makofi mazuri kwa Bwana kwa sababu ni mwema mfange mfiringo 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 bwana gatherupe wa mike tuongoze kigosho moja alafu nyinyi mtapitia mmepotea bahati sana taka mfiringo wewe george wako wapi kuruga kigosho moja tutaimba hosana tutaimba hosana tukizunguka zunguka kwenye
tuketi sio nyinyi ni mtakatifu hapo e, tuketi kidogo praise ni worship tuketi kazi nzuri asante sana bwana wabariki ya watende mema let's appreciate our praise and worship team let's also in a better way appreciate Edith and the and the team thank you so much hebu mpiduke pande ile watu waone haya tutatuambia majina yenu na useme kama wa sasa umeokoka ama hujaokoka na wale wa district ile ko Madhani ya Goshwa Madhani ya Goshwa reke Amen Kama retoni jeni mudhani nyawera Jeni mudhani nyawera Na de muhonoku Leo ni muhonoku hawa ha, hororo he Kutoka Nadeo district Joy Land district Joy Land district mazuri Thank you karibu kwa wokovu Praise God Amen Praise God once more Amen uh, My name is Andrews Waidimo Ann Lois Waidimo I am saved Ah she is saved let's appreciate our God Praise God. Ah, when you are district gani? Unaishi pande gani? Hapa tu Juja. Juja wapi? Hapo hapo. Hapa Eastern Coast. Eh? Hapa Eastern Coast. Hapa tu Coast. Eastern Coast, hiyo ni district gani? Eh? Posta. Ah, oh, kwa hivyo tuko district moja na wewe. Ona oh, huyu. Yule dia hilo da wako. Unaona yule yako pale? Dio hilo da wako. Aha, let's continue. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Kwa majina anaitwa Catherine Wamboi. Catherine Wamboi. Na nimeokoka. Ameokoka. Let's appreciate our God, yes. Na nimetoka Oasis District. Oasis District. Let's appreciate the Oasis District. Where is the elder Oasis? Ndio huile, mwana lili. Ah, yeah. Yes, come on, my daughter. Bwana niagoshwa. Amen. Bwana niagoshwa rege. Amen. De hamaretwa jitagorudu I'm not preaching to you just information all right five things number one, mark the date mark the date which date is today what's the date hmm? 28th shika hiyo deposa mtu akikuuliza na wewe umeokoka unamwambia dio january 28 umeokoka hiyo usisahau hata mimi ukiniuliza Nitakuambia siku ile niliokoka. Mark the date. Number two. Is testimony. Can we hear us testimony? Ukisalimia mtu kila wakati unamsalimia na unamwambia jitaka ujige na demo honoku. Hiyo inafuata immediate na demo honoku. Kwa hivyo kimtu akiwa ati alikuwa na fikira ingine anaona tu kasichana atasubua ukimwambia na demo honoku anajua eh eh. So the testimony. Don't leave that behind. Number three is fellowship can we all say fellowship yes uki ukikosa kuwa kwa fellowship mtu huwa anaisha ukiweka kuni pamoja moto inawaka ukitoa kuni moja kado uiwashe tu hapo inazimika kwa sababu it is not in the fellowship ukirudisha inawaka moto so the district hizo mnasema join them wale wako kwa youth igia kwa youth wale wako pa, igia huko be in a fellowship netura iguithania eh tuko namba mark the date the testimony the fellowship number four is maintain purity can we all say purity go tire me hia mako baga kauga to dogai ne mwega na ndakoragwa na kaoru na aletha nyinge in fact eh no ko hoto hoti ro tu to do after all i made of eh, blood and flesh eh, the, the 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 heart is willing it got the heart kana the soul 
whatever it is willing but the body is weak decora we why we abana tugaga maintain purity mahia maria mange mange shoka guka gukumbirira uri rugendo ine nituheraga na ngai agashoka kuigua nimurajigua you maintain purity so number 1 mark the date number 2 testimony number 3 fellowship number four you maintain purity and then number five something about salvation make sure that you always confess your sins just in case by any chance ukipatikana naye go before the lord read the bible go yeah number 5 always read the bible go there to biote mtatebea na yesu amen god bless you praise uh, what we are evangelism mko wapi watu wa evangelism you are there haya salimia hawa watu hebu msalimie huyu chairman ni chairman wa evangelism na haa, na huyu mwingine. Okay, tukimaliza mumuone, muombe pamoja, ashukue contacts zenu, alafu uh, mtakuwa mnapata message of encouragement. Amen. Hebu tuende pale pa vibe hiyo ni kidogo tu. E, muweke mics hapa. E, mshukuriwe nini. Thank you so much and God bless you. And the program continues.